सो नाउ राइट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कार्ल मार्क्स फर्स्ट लिखो राइट कार्ल मार्क्स is considered as the greatest political philosopher ya greatest philosopher though he never called himself as a philosopher karl marx is considered as the greatest philosopher underline greatest philosopher right do marx never accepts himself as a philosopher write this question right if marx does not consider himself as a philosopher then how he describes himself people are saying you are a philosopher marx is saying i am not a philosopher fine then people are saying then who you are fine ab likho right likho right marx calls himself as a scientist okay right in this way marx distinguishes himself from the previous philosophers fine again right marx suggest that whatever earlier philosophers told was right in what it commas philosophy philosophy now right and what marx tells is science what marx tells is science underline and write he says marxism is a science marxism is a science arrow karke likho means a scientific understanding of human society scientific view of human society <laughs> now write one question look if marx says he is scientist and his theory is science should we accept 
so should we accept so is marxism science answer is no <laughs> right no right marx is also a philosopher marxism is also not a science right marxism is also not a science he says so <laughs> followers of marx say so okay so there is no science into it okay look right like all philosophies like all philosophy nahi bilkul like all political philosophy marxism is also an ideology underline ideology right what is ideology देखो राइट अकॉर्डिंग टू कार्ल मार्क्स आइडियोलॉजी इज फॉल्स कॉन्शियसनेस अंडरलाइन फॉल्स कॉन्शियसनेस means the purpose of philosophy oblique ideology so far has been not to tell the truth but to hide the truth ab likho question how marx will describe plato के साथ साथ लिखो पहले हाउ प्लेटो विल डिस्क्राइब हिमसेल्फ प्लेटो के लिए प्लेटो कौन हाउ प्लेटो विल डिस्क्राइब हिमसेल्फ लिखो फिलोसफर प्लेटो विल कॉल हिमसेल्फ एज फिलोसफर अंडरलाइन फिलोसफर फिलोसफर हु इज फिलोसफर हु गिव्स द ट्रूथ लिखो राइट फिलोसफर अंडरलाइन करके लिखो लिखो हु एज अ लव फॉर नॉलेज लव फॉर नॉलेज मीन्स ट्रुथ ऊपर से बोलता है आइडियल फिलोसफर वेरी टेस्ट फिलोसफर ठीक है तो प्लेट हो विल से आई एम अ फिलोसफर ठीक है अब लिखो हाउ एवर मार्क्स विल कॉल प्लेटो एज liar the biggest liar sab jhooti kahaniyan banayi plato ne theek hai theek hai to marx kahega wo sab jhoot bol rahe hain hum sach bol rahe hain theek hai to wo wahi hai ye politics hai politics mein nirmala sitaraman versus mahua kaun hai kya naam unka बस वो कह रहे ये जीडीपी है वो कह रहे ये नहीं है ठीक है वो कह रहे हमारे पास डेटा है कह रहे हमारे पास सरकारी डेटा है यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस फाइन सो प्लेटो इज सेइंग आई एम फिलोसोफर मार्क्स इज सेइंग यू आर अ लायर ऑल फिलोसफर्स आर लायर देन हु आर यू आई एम साइंटिस्ट 
ठीक है आई हैव साइंटिफिक डेटा एम्पेरिकल डेटा फाइन दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम अब लिखो हाउ हाउ फॉलोअर्स ऑफ मार्क्स डिस्क्राइब मार्क्स वॉट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ मार्क्स अमंग इज फॉलोअर्स ठीक है हाउ फॉलोअर्स ऑफ मार्क्स डिस्क्राइब मार्क्स देखो राइट फॉर फॉलोअर्स ऑफ मार्क्स मार्क्स इज अ गॉड मार्क्स है भगवान जो जो कह दिया है वही वही करना है ठीक है तो फॉलोअर्स ऑफ मार्क्स आर भक्त ऑफ मार्क्स ठीक है ओके अब भक्ति में ही शक्ति ठीक है भक्ति करिए शक्ति लीजिए ठीक है भक्ति शक्ति का सुंदर समागम है आज समझ लीजिए हैं ओके तो फॉलोअर्स ऑफ मार्क्स कॉल हिम एज अ गॉड अब लिखो विच टाइप ऑफ गॉड मार्क्स इज कौन से भगवान किसके भगवान पहले तो किसके भगवान ठीक है और कैसे भगवान पहले तो लिखो लिखो राइट ही इज अ गॉड ऑफ पुअर्स अब पुअर्स गॉड्स डोंट विन ठीक है पुअर वाले भगवान नहीं जीतते हैं चलिए लिखे अब नेक्स्ट लिखो राइट लिखो ही इज अ गॉड दैट हैज फेल्ड द ओनली गॉड इन दिस वर्ल्ड हु हैज फेल्ड इज ही इज अ गॉड दैट हैज फेल्ड so there are different gods only gods of rich are successful gods of poor also don't have a chance of when gods will not be successful and when gods cannot help poor forget tmc dmc aidmk will help the poor poor hona hi sabse badi samasya hai theek hai भगवान भी आएंगे तो ना बचा पाएंगे ना आप ना टीएमसी ना डीएमके ना ए आई ए डी एम के नथिंग भाई कोई न्याय वाय नहीं जिसने पुअर का साथ दिया वो उसने अपना भाग्य डुबो दिया ठीक है साथ दीजिए अंबानी का अडानी का और आगे जाइए जैसी पुअर का साथ पकड़ोगे पुअर के साथ ही बैड लक चलाएगा ठीक है सो ऑन दिस दिवाली इंश्योर दैट यू मेंटेन अ डिस्टेंस विद द पुअर बिकॉज रन अवे ना वेयर एवर यू सी द पुअर यू जस्ट रन अवे फाइन बिकॉज मार्क्स इज अ गॉड ऑफ पुअर्स Fine, and he is a god that has failed. Fine. So poverty, itni badi samasya hai. Bhagwan tak nahi samadhan kar sakte. So tum log kaise karoge? Nahi. Hai? Ye humne bata diya ye jivan ka rule hai. Isko dyan rakhiye. Jahan se poor dikhe, udhar se bhag jao. Theek hai. Jahan abhi tumko aam aadmi party ke log dikhe. Theek hai. आम आदमी पार्टी कांग्रेस पार्टी ममता जी की पार्टी जे सबसे निकल जाना है पास से ठीक है तो ये है अब लिखते हैं लिखो राइट हाउ वेस्टर्न स्कॉलर्स हाउ वेस्टर्न स्कॉलर्स डिस्क्राइब marks
लिखो राइट लिखो राइट कार्ल पॉपर कार्ल पॉपर कॉल्स मार्क्स एज enemy of open society right he does not consider marx as scientific right why right because scientific thinking is possible only in open societies अब लिखो हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फेलियर ऑफ मार्क्स हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फेलियर ऑफ मार्क्स या एक और लिखो हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर criticism of marx <coughs> underline criticism right what criticism how is he criticized because right marx is criticized as totalitarian again right question was marx totalitarian answer is no right he is considered so because of his followers followers ki kartoote galat thi theek hai kartoot bolenge jaise stalin mao theek hai so actually marx is not totalitarian ab likho marx has been described as supporter of freedom theek hai ab isme likho satr s a r t r e satr tried to interpret marks as existentialist interpretations hote rehte hain bhai that i told you na study of classics existentialist underline existentialist dekho existentialism is a philosophy of freedom means means marx stands for freedom so there are different interpretations of marx actually different people understand marx differently again you write in india m n roy tried to 
reinterpret Marx. ठीक है सिमिलर टू सात्र सिमिलर टू सात्र ठीक है राइट एम एन रॉय ऑल्सो गिव्स द एग्जिस्टेंशियलिस्ट अभी के लिए इतना ऑब्लिक करके लिखो बाद में समझाएंगे ऑब्लिक ह्यूमैनिस्ट परस्पेक्टिव ऑब्लिक ह्यूमैनिस्ट परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ मार्क्स इन हिस थियोरी ऑफ रेडिकल ह्यूमैनिज्म आप नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ लिखो दस देर देर आर डिफरेंट इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ मार्क्स अंडरलाइन करो डिफरेंट इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ मार्क्स इट मीन्स every understanding of marx is misunderstanding so let's misunderstand marx so i will try that you misunderstand <laughs> marx or i will try to tell my understanding of marks so someone else may give some other understanding marks may have his own different understanding but marks even if we call marks marks will not be able to explain what he means so in short for you i am marks explaining marks theek hai hum sab apne ideas denge naam marks ka batayenge theek hai aur aapko hamari story ko hi sunna hai ठीक है सो आर यू कंफ्यूज सो एज वी विल स्टडी फिलोसफी वी विल फाइंड सो मेनी स्कूल इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ मार्क्सिज्म सो नाउ कम बैक टू द सेम थिंग देर इज अ ट्रेडिशन इन द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड टू क्रिटिसाइज मार्क्स फाइन and why marx is criticized because on the basis of his ideas communist revolutions took place and the communist revolutions wherever they took place it led to the establishment of totalitarian states you can talk about ussr you can talk about china fine so marx is considered as the root cause of the problem and marx is or marx was hated in the western world fine so marx is seen as a problematic person father of totalitarianism fine but whatever criticisms marx face as an enemy of open society father of totalitarianism the main culprit are not critics of marx but the followers of marx theek hai to marx ka ke liye problem kisne create ki marx ke followers ne to marx ko kisse dar lagta hai जो मार्क्स को थप्पड़ लगाते हैं या जो मार्क्स से प्यार करते हैं प्यार करते हैं वहीं से वो दबंग का डायलॉग आया है ठीक है कि भाई मार्क्स को मार्क्स इज नॉट फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम्स बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स क्रिटिक्स 
his problems are because of those who call themselves as followers of Marx. And more than the followers, his critics understood Marx. ठीक है तो मार्क्स का मैसेज उसके क्रिटिक्स ने सही लिया और मार्क्स का मैसेज ये था कि कैपिटलिस्ट कैन नॉट कंटिन्यू टू इग्नोर द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द पुअर्स तो मैसेज दो मैसेज हैं फर्स्ट इज टू प्रोटेक्ट द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द पुअर्स एंड अनदर मैसेज इज टू टू गो फॉर रेवोल्यूशन so some could only understood revolution angle but the western world could understood the concern for the poors and the best way marxism could be realized in the best practicable way is welfare state welfare state is itself the product of marx and the followers of marx have not got the right message of marx they thought marx only objective was revolution fine so that is a whole politics there is a debate on marx marx is a very contested and a controversial figure and we have to understand that who was more successful it's not stalin lenin mao understood marx rather keynes and others understood marx better so whatever criticism we do for marx is less because of marx it is more because of his followers and they were not the true followers of marx they just tried to cash the popularity of marx for their political purposes तो ये असली वाले भक्त नहीं थे ये पॉपुलैरिटी कैश करने वाले भक्त थे जो अपना काम चलाने वाले थे ठीक है तो इसीलिए भक्तों को लेके भी सिलेक्शन में यू नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल तो विच भक्त आर ट्रू भक्त विच भक्त आर डेंजरस भक्त फाइन तो ऐसे तुलसीदास ने लिखा है अधिक भक्ति चोरों का लक्षण यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस सो यू स्टे अवे फ्रॉम भक्त नो नो अन्ना हजारी मतलब आई आई पर्सन आई थिंक थिंक ही हिमसेल्फ इज अ मतलब फॉर गेट दैट बट आई थिंक केजरीवाल इज मच बेटर as a person and doesn't need anna hazare he will he would have created someone else and would have created so in terms of wisdom leadership many other things kejriwal is far far better than hazare ha wo thodi kar rahe hain wo to keh rahe hain suppose i say something but what i am saying you will draw the meaning meaning is in the not in the control of the writer meaning is in the control of the reader log jo sun rahe hain wo baatein kar rahe hain हम सबको वक्त वक्त बोल रहे कोई कुछ समझ रहा होगा कोई कुछ समझ रहा होगा यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस तो जिसकी जितनी समझ तो कोई उस सेंस में समझेगा कोई उस सेंस में समझेगा मान लीजिए हम कोई वीडियो बना देते लोग लिख देते आप हम इसके अगेंस्ट हैं आप इसके फेवर में जबकि आप समझे तो हम कह क्या रहे तो उनकी भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं बिकॉज एनी अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज अ मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग फाइन तो आप चलता है इसीलिए मार्क्स Okay, we only study interpretations of Marx. Okay, so basically we will go for the most simplistic understanding of Marx, which you ordinarily have in your graduations, and then gradually we will pick up. So basically, Marx is one of the most influential philosophers. means those who like marx they call it him as a god 
and those who criticize Marx, they call him as an enemy of open society. Marx calls himself as a scientist, but his critics like Karl Popper call him as determinist. Take it, take it, or nine decade. Look, right? Marx call himself as a scientist. Whereas his critics like Karl Popper call him as determinist. You have to understand usage of these words. Underline determinist. What is determinist? determinist? So determinist means something in a negative sense you use this word determinist. So determinist means not scientific. Not scientific. Not scientific means not reliable. Why people try to call themselves scientific? Because the, we associate reliability with science. Right? And opposite of it is determinist. Determinist means blind faith or not scientific. So again you write, they could write, determinism means not open for falsification. So Marx is called as determinist by Karl Popper because his theory is not open for falsification. Fine. As I recall, not open for falsification. What does that mean? It means that Marx followers tried to project Marx as a god. It means they do not accept that Marx can be wrong. Again, Nico, instead of rational scrutiny of Marx ideas so they are doing blind faith types kar rahe rational scrutiny nahi kar rahe agar koi rationally judge kar rahe they will always say how can you question Marx fine so instead of the rational scrutiny of Marx ideas Comma, they keep on defending Marx underline this keep on defending Marx means whenever Marx appeared wrong or his predictions seems to be failing each time his followers tried to defend Marx by modifying Marxism itself.
So Marx is a god is also a sarcastic thing that okay you, it can why you are not allowing and there are certain questions on Marx thesis you are not allowing you are suppressing it you are using force so that is another part of politics is are you able to make sense of what I am discussing more than philosophy we are also discussing the politics that is associated with Marx fine so someone is trying to project Marx as a god and his predictions will be true others are always saying that Marx has been all wrong so this has been the problem okay अब हम next लिखते हैं nevertheless right nevertheless there is no doubt about the fact is about the fact that no philosopher has been as influential as Marx. As influential, right? There is not a single person on this earth who has not been impacted by the ideas of Marx. They may know it, they may not know it. Because welfare state, cold war. Okay. It was the impact of Karl Marx. That world remain divided into two blocks. Right in bracket, Cold War. Cold War was also because his ideas. Apliko, right? Right. The impact of Cold War is such that there is no place in this world which is not impacted. Not even moon, stars, space, Antarctica, Arctic, sab kuch affected hai. So that itself is an influence of Marx. Take hai. So ab likho right. There is no better way. There is no better way to describe. the status of Marx then the way in which yeah then the way okay in which Marx himself has written He is not written about himself but about other philosophers. Take it. right. In the words of Karl Marx, so far philosophers have only 
interpreted the world. Comma. What matters is how to change the world. ठीक है तो अब तक के फिलोसफर्स दे ओनली एक्सप्लेन बट देयर राइटिंग्स कुड नॉट ब्रिंग एनी चेंज सो द टेस्ट ऑफ अ फिलोसफर एंड द टेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलेक्ट इज इफ योर राइटिंग कैन ब्रिंग अ चेंज इन द लाइफ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो इट वॉज सर्टेनली नन अदर देन काल मार्क्स हुज राइटिंग्स हैड दिस कैपेसिटी to bring the change in the world so that is a difference between marx and other philosophers theek hai to sare philosopher ek taraf aur marx ek taraf ye samajh mein aaya bahut hue philosopher lekin marx jaisa nahi hua theek hai jaise kaha jata hai na hai to rehnuma acche acche पर गालिब का अंदाज ही कुछ और है तो ये समझिए मार्क्स जो है वो गालिब है इन कंपैरिजन टू अदर फिलोसफर्स ठीक है तो मार्क्स का मतलब यू कैन नॉट एक्चुअली डिफाइन हिज कंट्रीब्यूशन इन एकेडमिक्स आल्सो एज वेल एज इन एक्चुअल पॉलिटिक्स बिकॉज once marxism came the way reality has been understood has changed very drastically this itself is evident from marx own statement that with respect to one of the philosopher hegel marx said said that hegel is standing on his head we have to make him to stand on his feet means up till now the way we have been looking at the world is by standing on our heads we were not understanding anything no one was understanding politics only marx made us understand what is politics fine and what is politics is not what you see in front but what happens behind it fine so rest of the philosophers are only discussing what is happening marx said go behind and understand what is not visible what is visible we are seeing but that is not politics so no one could give the insight of politics only after marx people understood politics that politics is not that you see in face or in front but politics is deep somewhere else fine so then you will understand that politics or state craft is actually a stage craft what you see in the stage is not the reality fine so it is karl marx why he is considered such a great thinker and after that so many philosophies there had been no post modernism had there been not marx there has been no existentialism there has been no feminism if there has been not marx means the most revolutionary ideologies which aim at changing the status of the disadvantaged section change the status quo that starts only with karl marx fine so no no philosopher can be compared with the type of insight marx had and another thing is the range of his works Marx is a economist Marx is a sociologist Marx is politician so the range of his works and the writings is voluminous and uh, unfortunately it is always said that 
the entire western philosophy is nothing but footnote to plato and aristotle means because of the hegemony of the western world marx contribution has not been recognized at least we can say that the entire contemporary western philosophy is nothing but footnotes to marx because only after marx so many new schools of philosophy have emerged so maybe i don't have words to explain the extent to which marx has impacted the subject as well as the real life of the people that itself shows how influential the marx has been okay so what he said that philosophy but what matters is how to change it fine underline karo how to change it you have written how to change it means for him philosophy right for him philosophy should have a purpose purpose means it should lead to an action but which action right underline action but yeah right action which means which should be bringing betterment in the lives of poors disadvantaged and discriminated to so, write the first political philosopher who wrote from the perspective of poors weak and oppressed <coughs> we can oppressed theek hai ab likho how marx describes his philosophy right marx describes his philosophy as praxis underline praxis in simple sense praxis means a revolutionary doctrine a doctrine which aims at revolution a re revolutionary doctrine fine so revolutionary doctrine doctrine means theory and revolution means action right it means action and theory together because what matters is how to change the world fine ab likho right thus marxism is a action oriented theory action oriented theory means a theory to bring revolution एक क्रांतिकारी चिंतन ठीक है इसको क्या बोलेंगे प्रैक्सिस अ थियरी टू ब्रिंग रेवल्यूशन 
right at the same time it is a action guided by theory action guided by theory means means an action based on a strategy strategic action hai, based on a strategy strategic action what is a strategy well thought of right strategic action underline strategy right a strategy means yes yeah, strategic action means which is based on scientific understanding if we use his word scientific understanding of the society okay so what marx says you want to do something first understand it scientifically analyze it otherwise you don't have a chances of success fine so chances of success you need action but action without a strategy is useless and a strategy if you do not put into action is also useless fine so the chances of success will increase only when you have a strategy and a strategy means you need to know the things scientifically so do you have a strategy for exams which is based on your scientific understanding are you confident you all are what you are not open for falsification <laughs> please judge your strategies on the criteria of falsification you may be assuming that you have a strategy you may not be having a strategy fine so without a strategy you will not pass and an action without a strategy and even if you have a strategy and you don't put that strategy into action you will also not pass because only with the action you can understand the failures of your strategy fine so action is very important so what is marxism marxism is a action oriented theory but that is to be based on a strategic understanding of the circumstances fine now to understand this you write one question whether revolt of 1857 had any chance of success right according to marx no because it was just an action without understanding or without theory without theory without a strategy it was bound to fail fine so no chance because it was an action never have an action without thinking fine so only action will not help you you need thinking also because if you have a courage and do something without thinking it become recklessness so was was revolt of 1857 was a recklessness it was not an courage it was useless action so from marx perspective gandhi had a strategy why gandhi was successful because he had a strategy he had a scientific understanding of the british rule 
and he had a strategy how to counter the British rule. So chances of success, why Gandhi succeeded? Was Gandhism a praxis? Yes, Gandhism was a praxis. Gandhism was a revolutionary doctrine. Gandhism was an action oriented understanding and an action which is based on understanding of the British rule. Fine, you have understood this? Yeah. Yes, Gandhi followed everyone, but Gandhi never acknowledged anyone. As a leader, you should never acknowledge. Tumko sab kehna chahiye, main Bhagawan ke yaan se ayo, mujhe sab pata hai. Aur sab mere apne original ideas hai. Thik hai. Gandhi is himself a Marx in India. Indian Marx kaun ho sakta hai? Gandhi, Bharati hai Sampeta ke anusar. Bharati hai paristhitiyo ke anusar. Marx was for the benefit of the poor, masses. Gandhi stood for masses. Fine. To end the oppression of the masses. So, India's Marx is Gandhi. Gandhi ne jaake England mein sab cheeze achche se padhi samjhi. Thik hai. In fact, again I'll say that the British or Western education, without Western education, liberation would not have been possible. And these people, they had really very seriously and in depth they have understood. So you should also understand that understanding the philosophy and its importance goes beyond your civil services. Because you can achieve bigger goals also. Not just... Civil services is a very small goal. Fine. If agar ye philosophy aa gayi, bhashad dena aa gaya, baate karna aa gaya, aapka channel ban jayega, aap kuch bhi bana loge. You understanding this? Or channel bas social media control kar liya, you will be in power also. Thik hai. To isko samjho how to use this. Fine. So anyway, I hope you have understood the idea of praxis. What is praxis? And what is the basic difference between a socialist welfare state and a welfare state? Abhi jab aayega, aetiasik taur pe batayenge. Hamas ka to recklessness hai. It was not courage. To, wo to rec, matlab, of course, no chance of success. You should have a strategy and what, how should you make a strategy? In order to understand Marx, Marx alone is not sufficient. You need to understand Gramsci also. Together you will understand the revolutionary strategy. Okay? Yeah. What? End goal. That depends upon whose strategy. I don't know what is their strategy or do they have the strategy. It doesn't seem they had a strategy. Or forget means you that itself is a big debate. Who is doing what? Who is behind all these things? So now come to understanding of Karl Marx further. So now you write a school of thought of Karl Marx. Marx belong to which school of thought? Marx kya hai? Ek school hota hai. इस स्कूल में बच्चे जाते हैं पढ़ने ठीक है मतलब इस स्कूल में बहुत सारे लोग होते हैं आया समझ में तो मार्क्स किस स्कूल के से आता है मतलब उसके और भी फेलो स्टूडेंट्स होंगे ना वो आता है सोशलिस्ट स्कूल से और आइडियोलॉजी तो सेट ऑफ आइडियाज में व्हेन यू से स्कूल ऑफ थॉट तो स्कूल ऑफ थॉट मींस हु वेयर 
who went to the same school. Yes. जैसे ये एक मान लीजिए स्कूल है तो तुम सब एक स्कूल से आ रहे हो तो एक स्कूल से आ रहे हो यानी कि तुम्हारा एक ना एक थॉट प्रोसेस में कभी ना कभी सिमिलैरिटी होगी इफ आई हैव बीन एबल टू इम्पैक्ट योर माइंड एम आई एबल टू हैव सम इम्पैक्ट ऑन योर माइंड बिसाइड्स बिसाइड्स एक्सप्लेनिंग पॉलिटिक्स एम आई ऑल्सो propagating an ideology yeah. yes because a person cannot be separated from an ideology theek hai to i don't know i am giving you pure knowledge or ideological knowledge theek hai to wo school hai to meri koshish rahegi ki your thought process becomes close at least close to my thought process also fine so it's not that i am just coming and delivering the lecture then i will have no interest in delivering it fine so i am working with a strategy ab dekhte hain am i a successful speaker to ab hum kahan pe aa gaye school of thought samajh gaye जहां साथ साथ एडमिशन लेते हैं वो होता है स्कूल यानी और भी लोग होते हैं ठीक है तो अब स्कूल ऑफ थॉट ही बिलोंग्स टू विच स्कूल ऑफ थॉट राइट लिखो राइट मार्क्स इज अ सोशलिस्ट क्या जो प्रिंसिपल होगा <laughs> भाई ये हमारा स्कूल ऑफ थॉट है ना यहां पे जो लोग आ रहे हैं वो हमारे स्कूल ऑफ थॉट से फॉलो कर रहे पर्सन का भी स्कूल ऑफ थॉट हो सकता है पर्सन स्टार्ट करेगा ना स्कूल पर्सन की आइडियोलॉजी होगी आइडियोलॉजी को मानने वाले लोग जुटते जाएंगे तो स्कूल बन जाएगा और पर्सन का थॉट आइडियोलॉजी कब बनेगा जब फॉलोअर्स होंगे फॉलोवर होंगे तो स्कूल भी बन गई ना वो एक तरीके से तो वही एक ही चीज तो आइडियोलॉजी तो स्कूल ऑफ थॉट एक ही चीज हो गई एक चीज तो नहीं हो गई <laughs> अभी तो आपने कहा कि आइडियोलॉजी इस... में लोग एडमिशन नहीं लेते जब उसमें एडमिशन लेते हैं तब स्कूल बनता है वो वरना वो अन अकेडमी रहता है <laughs> जब, जब लोग एडमिशन लेते हैं तब वो अकेडमी बन जाता है अकेडमी को स्कूल कहते हैं आया समझ में अब अब आगे चलते हैं और मुद्दा ये है कि मार्क्स इज सोशलिस्ट तो अब आपको समझना है व्हाट इज सोशलिज्म लिखो राइट व्हाट इज सोशलिज्म मार्क्स का स्कूल ऑफ थॉट है मार्क्स इज सोशलिस्ट तो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज सोशलिज्म पॉइंट नंबर वन राइट सोशलिज्म इज एसेंशियली एन इकोनॉमिक डॉक्ट्रिन पॉलिटिकल तो बाद में वो एक्चुअली इकोनॉमिक डॉक्ट्रिन है एसेंशियली एन इकोनॉमिक डॉक्ट्रिन अंडरलाइन करो एसेंशियली एन इकोनॉमिक डॉक्ट्रिन right fine what is its aim what is it so right it is basically critique of capitalism so there cannot be any socialism without capitalism fine so socialism is not an independent concept socialism comes only because of capitalism so how do you understand socialism if i have to define socialism socialism is a critique of capitalism so all those who will criticize social capitalism can be grouped as a socialist socialism kuch nahi hai to marx ko aap kaise define karenge who is marx 
Marx is a critic of capitalism. Okay, what is socialism? Socialism is a critique of capitalism. Fine. Now write what is capital? Yeah, what is the basis of criticism? What socialists criticize? What is the basis of criticism? Look, right. Since capitalism leads to social inequalities, social inequalities underline karke, right? It divides people into rich and poor right not only it leads to division of the society It also leads to the oppression, O double P R E double S I O N, oppression of the poor. Okay. And right, therefore, capital, therefore, socialism. aims at giving the life of dignity to the poor. So it is a pro-poor philosophy and it is a critique of capitalism and it wants to reduce. A right one question right whether marx is a originator of socialism answer is no right there have been socialists before Marx also. Fine. Right. Marx call so socialists before Marx are called early socialists. Marx call early socialists as utopian. Utopian impractical right Marx call utopian U T O P I N utopian even there is a scholar Thomas Moore his book name is utopia fine Marx calls early socialists as utopians comma Marx calls his socialism as scientific socialism it is to be noted that socialist ideas past emerged in West at the time of French Revolution. Underline French Revolution, right? French Revolution called for 
equality and fraternity. So fraternity is an idea of socialism, fine, equality also, right? In the French Revolution, middle classes sought, S-O-U-G-H-T, sought the help of poor, help of poor, right? However, French Revolution did not result into the end of exploitation of the poor. Okay, right. Hence, Marx called French Revolution as bourgeois revolution. and talks about socialist revolution. Underline socialist revolution, which will be led by the poor themselves. Right, French Revolution was led by middle classes. Indian Revolution is closer to French middle class revolution, bourgeois revolution. Even Gandhi's revolution was a bourgeois revolution. Communist revolutions are the revolutions led by masses that have happened in China, right? So tomorrow we'll pick up this.